guys, Michael here, co-founder of Studicata, having worked with and helped over a thousand students prepare for the bar exam. Our third bar exam misconception is that you have to crawl before you walk. This is the idea that you should do your practice essays with your book open in front of you and not under any type of time pressure. This is something that most of the big bar prep companies recommend for their students and frankly a lot of bar prep instructors, tutors, and coaches out there that I personally know do recommend this to their students. Um, and again, this is one of those things I think I understand the idea behind it, the spirit of this statement. What's going on here is you have bar prep companies and instructors who want their students to write the perfect essay first. They want them to sit down and learn how to write the perfect bar exam essay. And then once you understand how to write that perfect answer, start removing materials. Close the book, put the time pressures, but only once the student has learned how to really write that perfect answer. Um, and to me, this is a really problematic idea for several reasons. Number one, uh, you're not trying to write perfect essays on the bar exam. This is impossible. The bar examiners are not looking for the perfect essay. They're looking for passing essays. And this is two very, very different things, right? The perfect essay doesn't exist on the bar exam. No person can write a perfect essay in 30 minutes or an hour without a book in front of them. And no way is this something that you should shoot for. And so the first problem that happens when you have students that do a lot of practice essay questions, you know, without time constraints and using the book in front of them, is it creates these high expectations for themselves. They see what they could write if they have an open book and no time constraints, and that then becomes the benchmark. You know, the student then wants every essay to be as good as their first essays that they wrote without those time constraints and the book in front of them. So what happens is, you know, in the, in the counterintuitiveness of this idea, rather than making students feel more comfortable, which is what I think the purpose is, it's actually going to create unrealistic expectations. No one's gonna be able to write the same type of answer that they could you know, with a closed book as they could with an open book or what they could without time constraints, under time constraints, it's just impossible. So number one, I think it, it, the, one of the big problems is it does create these unrealistic expectations as far as your writing and bar examination answers and moreover the bar examiners aren't going to be looking for perfect answers right it's a test of minimum competence they just want to see you show a basic understanding of how to apply the law to facts they are not looking for the perfect essay so the next problem that you have with this idea that you need to crawl before you walk is that it builds bad habits and I would say, if not the number one mistake I see, or, you know, it's definitely up there. The biggest reason though, I probably do see students struggle with the essay portion or have failed the essay portion of the bar exam is simply because they didn't finish. And this is something I didn't think was going to be as rampant before I started working in bar prep. But now after years of experience, it's every year you see so many students leaving entire essays blank. And I always ask these students, you know, what happened? You know, how, did this problem come up? Were you having trouble managing your time during your preparation when you were doing practice essays? Was this an issue? And generally the student doesn't know, right? Because they weren't doing practice questions under time constraints. And then I always am like, oh, okay, well, this is gonna be an easy fix for you. All we have to do is start doing your practice questions, more practice questions at least under true time pressure, time constraints, so that you can start to build the correct habits and get that real mental clock. So, so, but this idea when you're crawling before you walk, you're gonna build bad habits and you're not going to build the time management skills that you need to sit down and write an essay under time conditions without a book in front of you. And this also goes out to the people who, you know, are doing a lot of outlining. They're not actually writing and typing the words you're not building that mental clock. Like when I sit down, because I've done so many essay questions, right? I've probably personally taken every single essay question that's ever been released, you know, several times. Um, and, and so after that much experience, right? I have such a mental clock in my head. I know exactly. I don't have to look at any timers, any clocks. I know because I've built that from years of practice. Now, of course, no one's gonna have years of practice 
and that shouldn't be the goal, but you still want to build a type of mental clock so that you know as you're riding, you know, exactly how much you should have at each portion, you know, because it's quick. The bar exam is moving fast, and if you don't, you know, hustle to a large degree and you don't have that mental clock built, you're not going to be able to manage your time on the essay portion of the bar exam. And, and really the worst thing that you can possibly do by definition on the essay portion is to leave an essay blank. I mean, you would never do this on the multiple choice portion of the bar exam, right? Even if you ran out of time, you're filling in the, you know, C for the rest of the answers. This isn't going to happen on the essay portion. If you don't finish, you have to truly leave it blank, which again, by definition is the worst thing that you can do. You're going to get actually zero points for doing that. Um, so, yeah, the, I, I, again, I, I'm at a loss because I, I just, I can barely see any utility to doing practice essay questions without time constraints and with a book open in front of you. And it's not gonna kill you if you do this a couple of times, a few times in bar prep. If you are just, you know, for some reason, you just wanna work on pure writing skills or something, a couple times you do it, it's not gonna kill you. But if you do this consistently for weeks of bar preparation, you do risk you know, building these bad habits, which can really bite you on bar exam test day. So. I would recommend to everybody, you know, to avoid this misconception that you need to crawl before you walk, even if your big bar prep company is telling you to do a lot of essay questions with your book open in front of you and no time constraints. I really think you should try to keep that to a minimum so you don't build these bad habits. But I know you guys have a lot going on right now. I'll leave you to it. I wish you all the absolute best in your preparation for the bar exam and I'll see you at our next video.